February 16th, 2015. Almost exactly one year from the time that the guys at Border Archery sent me Sid Senior's prototype Covert Hunter with X7 limbs. A lot of you have seen the video uh, when I first got the bow. I hunted with this bow this season. with a pair of 52 pound limbs. These are the original prototype limbs that were right around 55, 56 pounds at 28 inches. I hunted this past year with a set of 52 pound limbs and I just received, well, right before the hunting season, ended last year's 3D season, I got a pair of 48 pound hex seven limbs for this bow for this upcoming 3D season. This is the original bow that Sid sent me and I'm a big bow collector, so I'm just thrilled to have the prototype Hex 7 Covert Hunter in my collection. Love everything about the bow. Again, I hunted with this bow this past season. I really enjoyed it. It's a wonderful bow. It's very, very diversified, meaning it's got a very compact working envelope. Just does everything well out of a tree stand. Work great for shooting off my knee, doing deer drives. It's just a, a wicked, wicked bow. I had been bugging the SIDS for a long time to make me something though. And this video is not about the original prototype X7 bow. It's about something that I, I bugged the SIDS for a while to make and I, I gotta thank them both so very much because I love it. And that is a very special riser. I'm a huge phenolic fan in, in, in risers. I like the added weight. This is a one-off at this time. Phenolic, wood, carbon, glass, and it has a Buffalo horn cap, just gorgeous. You'll see from the pictures. This riser is a 17 inch riser, just like my original. The difference is this riser, because of the use of phenolic, is about 25% heavier. Now, 25% anything is a lot more. The original riser was somewhere around, I think, 1.57. The new phenolic riser is around 2.07. So about a half pound heavier and right around a 25% increase in weight. I haven't shot the bow yet. The riser just came today. I'm going to set it up with a pair of 48 pound limbs for this upcoming 3D season and I'm also going to be putting my 52 pound limbs on this riser to going to the hunting season. The riser is exquisite. The way that the glass, the white glass stands out beautifully. The carbon just comes up and forms so many neat little intricate patterns in the, and you'll see it a lot better in the pictures. This riser's been tapped for a stabilizer, side bow quiver, and either another bow quiver type fitment or even a sight.
it's uh, I'm, I'm so taken with the, the feel of this riser the the, the weight of it, it, it it's it's just awesome so i'm going to throw it together and turn the camera back on thanks Okay, here we are. Um, incredibly, the bow bolted on the limbs that were on my other riser. They were almost exactly, I haven't adjusted the brace height. I had to twist my knock a few turns just to get my bear shafts. They were flying um, a little tail low, but like I said, from going from one riser to another riser with a pair of setup limbs, I mean, you want to see precision, that's incredible. The bow is, I love the bow before, it was my favorite bow of all time. I mean, right now, I'm just, I'm floored. Again, the riser's 25% heavier. What that gives me, even though the bow was dead in the hand before, had good weight, this is a little bit more weight, which I really like. The riser just feels super dense in the hand. I got a little bit more of a wide angle on the camera now. Uh, I'll pop a couple shots. It's night here and it's getting down to negative four tonight. So I won't be shooting outside till probably tomorrow afternoon. I'll try to get some shots outside with it. But all in all, I'm just so thankful that they did this. The Buffalo horn cap. The, the dense, solid feel of this riser, it just, it, I'm, I'm just floored by it. The way I've set this bow up this time, the same as last time is a Great Northern Quiver. The difference is, this is the horsehide leather quiver from Great Northern. It's the long, and I'll show a picture where you can see Right now I have two tree sharks, two interceptors, and a judo in there. And I, like I said, it swallows up some big heads with some room to spare. I do an old black widow trick because of, of the, the deflex riser. I mount a left-handed side bow quiver on a right-handed bow. If I put the normal Great Northern on here, it would be inside here. And it would give the bow a, a feeling of, of wanting to tip back tight. Mounting the quiver out forward, doesn't get my weight, it's not, to me it doesn't bother me at all, gets the weight out front. With the extra weight of this phenolic riser, the quiver mounted out the front, giving me more weight out the front, it gives the bow a much better feel for me. Um, again, I like Great Northerns, they've been good quivers for me. This is the horse hide long. And I just think, I mean, I'm a bow collector, so I'll always buy bows. But this is my bow, if that makes any sense. It's the bow I'm gonna hunt with, and the bow that I just, I don't really feel like shooting much else but this bow anymore. I, I really do enjoy it. Here's a bear shaft down the pike. You can hear the bow is very quiet. And a little bit of a loose field point, so you heard it rattle. But the bow, like I said, the bow's dead. Dead quiet. Just wicked. Again, Sid and Sid, thanks so much. We'll get some outside video, appreciate it. Phenolic carbon wood glass, Covert Hunter, one-off riser. Thanks. One thing I forgot to mention is how I set up the shelf. I'm a big seal skin fan. As long as I can get seal skin, 
I will use it on my, my bows. This has a, a sealskin shelf with a black calf hair tab on the side of the riser. Sealskin, as long as your arrows are coming off the shelf correctly and not you know smashing down or just not tuned correctly, sealskin lasts a very long time. Another thing I like to mention is with the Great Northern Quivers. One reason I like the Great Northerns is because of this little metal plate on the foam. This insert, of course, goes into the leather bonnet, but when I'm shoving a razor sharp broadhead up into a quiver, I like a little piece of sheet metal there. So that's one reason why I like the Great Northerns. A lot of the other quivers I've experienced and played with don't have anything there but the leather hood itself and or a plastic hood with leather covering. Again, you can put a broadhead right through that. You're gonna have a tough time putting the broadhead through sheet metal. Thanks. It's a cold, clear day. We just had a snowfall last night. Got the phenolic CH out. I just wanted everybody to hear it outside. I'm primarily a tree stand or deer drive hunter. I really enjoy that the Covert Hunter is a very compact bow. It's got a about a 55 inch tip to tip measurement. Neat part is it uses a 59 inch string. So it has the same working envelope of almost a 62 inch recurve, but it's only 55 from tip to tip. What that allows me to do as a tree stand hunter is to take some shots that would be maybe a little bit cumbersome with a longer bow. I do a lot of hunting off the ground. In these situations, a lot of ambush hunting. I've shot a lot of deer off my knees and um, the covert hunter allows me to, to, to get in tight the trees on my knees. Still be able to keep a vertical bow to stay tight to a tree, draw, lean out and take my shot. Again, super compact working envelope, Covert Hunter Phenolic Riser, really digging it. Thanks, Sids, really appreciate it.